Um, Glad to be here. Thank you. The final evening of um, the Bali's Living Arts series with Gamalan Sakarjaya. And we're really, really happy tonight to have Pat Nyoman Wenten joining us from LA. Um, we're so thankful for everyone's generosity throughout this series. It's been really incredible. And we've, uh, at this point, we've raised about $3,000 to send to artists in Bali. And just really, really blown away by everyone's generosity and by just all of the incredible energy and discussion that has been coming out of these. Um, so, and we're also really, really honored this evening to have with us um, some of the staff from the consulate in San Francisco, from the Indonesian consulate. So I would like to uh, hand over the speaking to um, Bu Burina Duyastuti, who is the Consul for Information and Social Cultural Affairs at the Consulate. Please, Buririn. Thank you, Rebecca. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us uh, in this event. This is really a great honor for the Consulate of Indonesia in San Francisco to be invited in this event. We know that in this challenging situation, it is really um, difficult and challenging for everyone uh, to, uh, we cannot have a live performance and uh, we cannot uh, practice gamelan. I know it's uh, very uh, difficult for everyone. And uh, I want to, on behalf of the Consul General of Indonesia in San Francisco, Bapa Simon, I would like to uh, extend our um, gratitude to Sakar Jaya, who has been very dedicated in promoting uh, Indonesian culture, especially Bali. And we wish uh, Gamelan Sukarjaya uh, every success. And we hope that with this kind of event, it is at least can, um, uh, can help everyone, can um, give opportunities for everyone to still learning about uh, Indonesian culture, uh, Balinese uh, gamelan, uh, although the situation currently doesn't permit us. And we do hope that uh, this situation will be better in the future so that we can have a live performance and also practices just like before. Okay, thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you so much, Buridin. It's really wonderful to have you here. Um, and I'd like to introduce Pat Wenten. Um, first, uh, Jillian Irwin is the other staff from Sakarjaya, and she's helping out with the logistics. Jillian, could you um, spotlight, uh, can you turn off the spotlight on Buridin, please? Um, and I would love to introduce Pat Wenten, who is not only just, I could probably spend this entire session um, introducing him with, he has done so many incredible things um, promoting the, the Balinese and also Javanese arts um, to America and the entire world. Um, and is also a, a longtime friend and uh, incredible, um, collaborator with Sakarjaya and has uh, every, so many people who have played with Sakarjaya over the years had their first uh, exposure to Gamelan with Pat Wenten in LA um, at CalArts or um, UCLA. And so it is really a great honor to have Pat Wenten here with us today. And I could say so much more, but I'll leave it at that. Good, good evening. Um, I just um, want to express my sincere appreciation to Rebecca to include me to, uh, to be uh, the, uh, in discussion of this evening. Uh, and also, of course, Skarjaya. Um, <clears throat> so, um, so how's everybody doing? 
okay? <laughs> and I uh, hope you are well and stay healthy during this uh, incredible, uh, you know, pandemic year we have in this time. So uh, difficult to do anything. Uh, so um, do the best we can to meet each other, like the, the one tonight. So um, so I'm so delighted. Um, you know, I'm so, I'm so delighted to meet you all this evening. Let me start with my greeting, Balinese gre greeting to you. Om Swastiastu. God bless you. And um, so that, um, uh, you know, I'm so thrilled by, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the thing uh, Rebecca asked me to do, uh, just, 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 you know, doing your experience. Uh, but um, Sekarjaya, everybody knows. Yeah, uh, incredible club of Gamelan in the uh, US. So founded, uh, of course, in 1979, everybody know. Uh, I was there because uh, the first time uh, they have a performance, uh, I was, um, I joined them uh, for perform as well. And uh, of course I saw uh, in the screen, the founder is uh, Pat Michael Tenser here. And uh, of course, Pat Fletcher, uh, hopefully seeing uh, this, this uh, a Zoom meeting we have tonight uh, from Bali. And also hope uh, Rachel Cooper also seen this very uh, incredible, uh, you know, event. So, um, so we, uh, we care about uh, the, our uh, culture, especially uh, Indonesian music and dance gamelan uh, so I'm so delighted to share with you what I experienced here and uh, of course um, the the thing is uh, Sekarajaya thing of the beginning uh, the mission of uh, uh, the idea about uh, having a group is uh, to poster you know um, for the relationship between artists in Indonesia in America, between our country, Indonesia and in the US. Uh, that is um, the then whatever they be able to accomplish, they learn. Uh, then they share it to uh, diverse people in the US. Uh, not only in US, probably in in the world, yes, this uh, Sekarjaya has have a great reputation. Um, I'm so glad I'll be, I'll be part of always member of Sekarjaya for so many years. And uh, <clears throat> let me begin about uh, some of probably you you, um, you know uh, Indonesia is a uh, lord the largest archipelago in the in the universe and <laughs> in the world yes um, so incredible uh, array of ethnic group um, so many islands uh, probably you already know uh, more than seventeen thousand island and uh, um, according to the last census, we have about 273 million people, uh, maybe fourth largest population in the world, and consists of 74 
province or like a like a equal to state here in America we have a 50 states uh, in in Indonesia we have 34 province and um, so um, we lucky we have we despite all this uh, diversity we have a motto bineka tungal ika so that is the, our motto uh, and also we lucky we tie by satu bahasa one language satu tanah air of republic indonesia and satu bangsa bangsa indonesia and uh, <clears throat> of course uh, we also uh, have a guiding principle the pancasila um, we believe in Pancasila and five sila is a guiding principle. So number one, believe in God, ketuhanan yang maha esa. So uh, number two, nationality, kebangsaan Indonesia. Number three, humanity. Yeah. Then democracy and social justice. So this is our uh, guiding principle. So we tie us together, even we are so many different ethnic groups, so many different uh, bahasa, uh, local language. So you're talking about 350 different bahasa, uh, local bahasa. Um, so then uh, we always in the, keep in our heart, Bineka Tungal Ika, yes. So uh, this is our motto, and uh, <clears throat> so we, we, if we're talking about gamelan, uh, we can talk about the past and the present and the futures. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, well, as you know, in the past. Uh, during the the Buddhist and Hindu uh, prayer around, we're talking about first to uh, 14th centuries. So um, many different uh, great kingdom appears many different places in uh, all over archipelago. So. Um, <clears throat> that uh, <clears throat> uh, already supposed to be, um, according to a few uh, uh, inscription, uh, for example, uh, uh, in Blenjong, Blenjong Festival in Bali, uh, uh, inscription in Bali, uh, also in the relief of Borobudur. You already, we already know the existence of Gamelan then back then. So, but how, how is that Gamelan, what kind of instrumentation? Uh, we actually not really completely know about uh, how big is the Gamelan, but uh, we know during the 12th century, um, so in the, a Japanese uh, Hindu uh, toward the, the end of uh, uh, toward the Islam uh, fit come to Indonesia. So we, we do have um, the gamelan, all, the oldest gamelan uh, be able to, uh, we be able to see right now uh, we're stored in the palace of uh, Yogyakarta and Surakarta. So um, uh, of course the beginning is is uh, before they divided into two different major style of gamelan. So they they call Mataram Kingdom. So Mataram have two different uh, prayer Hindu prayers from maybe from six to eleventh uh, uh, century, and then after that Mataram. 
uh, during the uh, Islam period. Yeah. So that um, and <clears throat> so that um, kagamalan can uh, develop so so many different uh, style. Now we can we can witness, uh, especially the gamelan from Jawa, uh, from the island of Bali, uh, different region of Indonesia, Sundanese, maybe East Japanese region, the island of Lombok, uh, maybe uh, other uh, island, other gamelan from many different uh, places you can still see in Borneo, in Kalimantan, and also in uh, uh, <coughs> and uh, South uh, South Sumatra. Yes. Uh, so there's uh, many different kingdom uh, at that time. For example, the oldest one, Sun Sunda Kingdom. Uh, you're talking about the two two centuries. Kutai is Kalimantan, uh, Kalinga Kingdom from Central Java, and Srijaya, South, South Sumatra, Salendra, back to uh, uh, Central Java, uh, Madang, uh, go to uh, uh, the old, also called Madang, also called Mataram, uh, Singosari, Kadiri, so during 12th century, supposed to be already have a gamelan. Mojopait, uh, uh, according to uh, uh, the inscription, Negara Kertagama, and um, in the form of Kakawin, uh, indicates um, in, during the Mojopait Kingdom, they already have a conversation to, to organize uh, performance in the palace and also to uh, how to build a gong. And of course, a gong is a gamelan making, a gamelan smithing is a, a ancient time. Uh, the, the, the gong is supposed to be uh, the, uh, 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 originated gong making is from China, also from Java uh, and uh, Vietnam, of course, Philippines. So during the six centuries already have uh, this type of uh, uh, activities making gong. And uh, up until now, we can still see the, the gongs meeting in uh, Samarang and, and also Georgia solo and, and also in Bali. So um, let me just show you some uh, map of Indonesia. Uh, let me see. Uh, I can share. I, I can share my my screen with you. Can you see this? Not yet, that went there. Not yet, okay, I will share. Uh, I share my feed, video with you. Okay. So this is a map of, of Indonesia, if you can see how everybody already noticed. Um, map, <laughs> yes, um, that is the uh, from northeast, northwest of of Indonesia. They call Aceh, uh, whereas the, the we known as the Daerah Istimewa, special region of Aceh, and also we, we have a special region. Uh, Sultan Kesultanan Yogyakarta is uh, in Central Java, so it's two, two different one. And here, uh, so many different islands. And uh, north, 
part of Jakarta is a thousand island here. Uh, right, right, this point. And let me see you um, uh, map of Bali. Yes, so that's um, Bali, the oldest uh, consists of uh, eight different uh, small ruling family um, led by a Raja. Uh, so that's, uh, you can see here, uh, the Badung is right, right here, Badung. Uh, of course, now they added uh, uh, Denpasar, Kota Denpasar is because it's, uh, it's bigger, get bigger city and then, uh, then governed by Wali Kota now. So they added this region here. And uh, of course, uh, Ganyar, uh, where is the very famous gamelan uh, in uh, near Ubud, Liatan is Gunung Sari, and Semarapura, the uh, the capital of Klungkung, and uh, Karangasem, where is the during the 18th century, um, uh, the the king of uh, Karangasem. Um, the expedition to West Lombok. So maybe Pat David uh, in the audience can see, so you uh, tell you more about it. So there's um, uh, in West part of Lombok, you can see uh, Balinese in, uh, performing art influence. They have a Gong uh, are all Angklung, all different type of gamelan and central uh, Lombok and East Lombok, uh, mostly West part of Lombok is uh, mostly Hindu. Um, then East part of Lombok is Muslim. Of course, there's a Bangli, um, Bangli region, and uh, Singaraja with the, the birth of Gong Kebiar right here, and Jambrana is known as uh, the special gamelan, you know, uh, uh, Jagog, Skarjaya on Jagog, and uh, Oka, as an audience, I, I saw him, so he can tell you more about Jagog there. And, um, and of course, uh, uh, let's see. If I be able to share some of the older style of gamelan, and uh, still stored in uh, in central central Java, Sultanis of Yogyakarta and Sunan of Surakarta, they call gamelan kodok ngore. Let me um, share with you what the video I have. Gamelan Kodok Ngorek. Okay, that's it here. Yes, this is a gamelan uh, kodok ngorek. So that um, uh, two two pages um, supposed to be created around 12th century, but a new edition uh, because the split of uh, Mataram Kingdom become Jog Jogjanis. So 
Sultan Jogja and Sunan Solo. So the, the Court of Orek has also, the Gamelan also split to come too. And then uh, during the 1800, they added new uh, boards of Solo in Jogja. They make a new edition for Gamelan Court of Orek. Um, and of course, uh, we'll also going to play for you uh, some of the oldest uh, gamelan. Maybe uh, now I moved to Bali. So um, for example, one of the, among the oldest gamelan is a uh, gamelan surrounding. Surrounding. So I have the a good video here, Slunding Gamelan. Uh, let's see. And uh, Slunding Gamelan is very uh, unique because the, um, they have very simple instrumentation. The Gamelan made out of uh, iron. Of course, uh, the best Gamelan, of course, uh, I mean, uh, gamelan can can be made of bronze, uh, brass, iron, uh, stainless steel. So um, the bronze, uh, most uh, expensive metal. Uh, there's a uh, alloy, eighty eight percent copper, twelve percent uh, tin is become a, a good good bronze. But the oldest, sometimes the bronze can edit the metal. Uh, like uh, uh, so, the 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 sound of the gamelan can be very crispy, very uh, nice. They add a, uh, a gold sometimes, also silver, uh, a little bit a gold. Yeah. So this is the surrounding gamelan from Tenganan. The the origin of the gamelan uh, surrounding um, in Tenganan village is is part of a Bali uh, region of Karangasam. So a few gamelan uh, have, a few gamelan can be found, uh, a shooting gamble can be found in many different villages, but the most important is, is from uh, shooting from Tenganan and also some shooting from um, uh, Batur. Uh, but uh, this is uh, the Tenganan uh, region, Slunding. I just got my hands on the Arizona Adobe Captain from Thursday Boots. I like the construction and the weight of the boot. You can feel the materials are of great quality. Okay. that's uh, Slunding. And also, um, of course, uh, Gamelan during the uh, Islam period. Um, there's very famous Gamelan in uh, Central Java. Uh, they call Gamelan Sikaten. Uh, that's uh, the, the bigger size Gamelan. Um, so almost like um, uh, impossible to uh, to carry because it's so so heavy, so hard, and the mallet made out of a buffalo horn. And this uh, gamelan, uh, skaten usually play in the uh, during Ramadan 
months um, for uh, uh, they play in the mosque, uh, central central mosque close to uh, the, the Kraton uh, for for the birthday of uh, Muhammad. They play this uh, gamelan gamelan as uh, uh, So this is blunt gamelan at a seven tone uh, scale for uh, pelog, of course, in, uh, in, uh, in Japanese, in the Balinese terminology, Sai P2. Uh, this is the gamelan uh, skaten from uh, the palace of Yogyakarta. Uh, let's see, I will share with you. Yes, um, that is a, a Katan Gamelan. Uh, that, as you can see, the, the Saron, the metal phone, so huge. And uh, the mallet they use, uh, made from water buffalo mallet, is very heavy. But the old days, um, the old days, according to pa Chokro, um, or whoever be able to break the, the keys that word it uh, because uh, you have to play a bit loud so the so be able to people uh, surrounding uh, Jogja city be able to hear and when they hear the gamelan swimmings so they can come to the mosque to, to hear the, uh, the doctrine of Islam so that's uh, they play for couple weeks, maybe two weeks or 10 days or so, um, but sometimes lo longer, depending. Uh, okay, so um, this is the Gamelan Slunding. And uh, of course, uh, Gamelan during the colonial period, during the, the European, uh, Explorer come to Indonesia already during the 14th cent century to uh, to uh, before the Indonesian independence. Of course, the the, the most the most uh, 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 the European to come to Indonesia is uh, the Dutch East in India. So the the Dutch government occupied Indonesia for 350 years. So, 
Um, so then during the, the, the Dutch uh, govern all the Nusantara island, so they managed to bring uh, the gamelan uh, to um, so, so called uh, World Columbia Expo. So um, during the 1893, so Columbia Exposition, also known as uh, Chicago World Fair. So, uh, during that time, um, what I be able to gather is uh, the gamelan from uh, a region called Banton. So they, it's about uh, quite a few musicians and dancers uh, live live in uh, uh, in Chicago for almost six months, and um, so that uh, the, uh, the gamelan uh, that gamelan was used for that uh, expo. It's still now in a film museum. Uh, I was there a couple of years back and uh, the name of the gamelan, uh, Son of Lion. So that's, um, uh, that's beautiful, beautiful gamelan. Of course, nowadays they don't play it, they store it. <laughs> but when they play the, the group call, uh, Gamelan, uh, what you call the name of the group there, uh, the friend of Gamelan. Um, used to be uh, Professor Sudabal lead the Gamelan there. And uh, so that's it, uh, Gamelan, uh, son of lion. Still, I think I have um, some of the instrument I can show to you. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. This, this um, look the the saron look like this, and um, so I'll be able to take some pictures, and um, the gong, uh, the rest of the gamelan, uh, not really in good condition as you can see here, but it's still playable. Be able to play it. And uh, of course, um, for me, many years after that, at least at least seventy years, <laughs> these sort of American don't did not heard gamelan again for so many de decades, uh, at least seven seventy years, uh, until uh, UCLA. Uh, very well known, most, uh, the most well known at musicology that time, uh, Professor Dr. Hood, uh, <coughs> get um, what do you call, um, get a grant from Rockefeller to purchase uh, one Japanese gamelan, uh, the Honorable of Dark Cloud. The name of Gamelan, and then the Balinese uh, set Gong Kebiar, uh, Gamelan Sekar Anyar, the new flowers. Uh, still, still now in, in the Gamelan room at UCLA, so that um, uh, they that 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 was in 1959. The Gamelan brought here, then of course. Dr. Hood, Dr. Hood be able to bring two Balinese uh, musician and composer, pa Wayan Gandra and uh, Chokorda, Chokorda Mas. Um, and for the uh, Japanese gamelan, pa Sus, pa Arjo Susilo, uh, the late pa Arjo Susilo, um, so that the first teachers uh, to teach the Japanese gamelan. Of course, uh, Patsus then later on moved to Hawaii to uh, continue the gamelan there. And this is, that is the, the 61st time gamelan uh, has 
became a part of the uh, curriculum for higher education um, in the university. First UCLA, uh, the, the department called in, uh, Institute of Eth Ethnomuscology. So the, the Professor Dr. Hood was the, the director of that. And then uh, ex many different gamelan then uh, established many different places, uh, also part of the uh, college uh, scene. Uh, then uh, the almost toward the end of the end of sixties, uh, gamelan from New York, New York World Fair was given to a uh, uh, Wesleyan University gamelan. Of course, Wesleyan purchased two other gamelan. Uh, after that, but the beginning they use uh, New, New York Japanese warfare gamelan. Uh, so that, and now of course, Pak Sumarsam and Pak Arjito, uh, the professor there teach that gamelan. And uh, of course, uh, then uh, gamelan phenomenon in, in America keep, keep, uh, Moving forward, uh, then the seven, 70s, uh, Kellard op opened the program. Uh, uh, the the, the, the ethnomusicologist, the, the musician responsible for, for bringing the Kellard Gamble, open the Kellard Gamblans, Dr. Robert Brown. And of course, uh, Center for World Music in Berkeley during the 70s. Uh, where the gathering of many different artists from all over the world, usually from mostly from India and Indonesia. Uh, I was lucky, if, um, I was part of that uh, community then. Uh, I was there in 1972 to 76 until the, the center moved to, to uh, San Diego. So Dr. Brown, Open the program in San Diego, bring the Japanese gamelan and and um, the Balinese gamelan there, and I was moved to San Diego, and then uh, the rest, Pak Cindy, um, our all great musician, Komang Astita, or many different, uh, uh, and then of course uh, Pak Medianto also teach there. Uh, to teach the Japanese gamelan. And the scenes keep going. Uh, either, you know, community gamelan like Sekarjaya was, uh, of course, uh, as mentioned before, established around 1979. Uh, in the audience, Pak Michael Tenser is there, so it's, he can, um, you can, he can uh, tell you more about the, the forming of Sekarjaya and Bay Area. Uh, so um, uh, of course, uh, Richard Cooper, and then of course, Gamelan Buratwangi in, uh, in LA, in Valencia. Um, uh, Las Mawan, I was teaching so many years in, in um, Colorado and Denver. Uh, so they have a, a Angklung Gamelan, now Samaradana, and um, maybe Japanese Gamelan also there. Um, so, Pak uh, Mawan, I seen him in the audience, so maybe we can ask him more about it. Uh, and of course, uh, UC Berkeley, the Gamelan from Center for Music, give it to to UC Berkeley, the Japanese gamelan, uh, the, the name of the gamelan, Kiai Udan Mas, Honorable of Golden Reigns, was uh, purchased by um, the supporter of, uh, of the art of India and in, uh, Indonesia, uh, Sanskrit, purchased the gamelan. And also they bought uh, Smart Pugulingan gamelan, uh, um, 
that is only uh, Sumar Puling and Sahih Lima, uh, like, uh, like Pelagongan style. So now Sumar Puling and Gamelan, the uh, Sen bought for the use for Central World Music then in the 1970s. Now in the, at, at CalArts, so CalArts use, use it sometime. And of course, many more Gamelan, uh, UBC opened the program, uh, Simon Fraser, Montreal, Toronto. Uh, so vast, many different Gamelan. Um, you, can, you can keep counting, grow, grow more and more. Uh, of course, uh, Pomona uh, on Gamelan, Harvey Mard, uh, I saw uh, Bill, Bill Alfis there in the audience. So, so uh, Harvey Mard purchased the Japanese Gamelan. And uh, Pomona Kali, they have uh, Gong Kibiar. So, um, so um, more and more Gamelan seen in the uh, in US. So, um, so uh, then, uh, of course, a lot of uh, Western composer uh, in, influenced or uh, in, inspired by gamelan. Of course, um, one and one in the audience is uh, Michael Tensers. Uh, Michael, there, he is um, arguing to so uh, in the video one of his composition. I I remember in Bali he. Uh, I think they call it book some something. Forget I. This is a fusion gamelan and Western instrument. And uh, let me share with you video again. Um, uh, let's see. So they are uh, going to play um, one of the Gong Kabyar, that's the most famous gamelan. Uh, most of the uh, active gamelan here play Gong Kabyar's gamelan, Kos Anklung, uh, number two, West Japanese gamelan, gamelan de Gong, uh, Kecapi Suling, and, and so forth. But uh, let me play for you um, Gamelan Gong Kebiar from Liatan first. Um, let me share, share the screen with you again. Okay, so Gong Kebiar. Uh, I think there's a Pak Winda uh, composition, Saro Madu. Let's see this. Hi, I'm Stacey Abrams, and I'm personally okay. asking you to sign the petition to demand vote. Okay, so it is Pak Winda. Pak Winda is a composer piece uh, called Saro Madu, played by a uh, student and uh, Faculty member of uh, EC Denpasar. So um, that's a part winter composition. Uh, let me play. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's just an excerpt of um, Bach Wiener composition. Uh, of course, um, so I like, um, like I said to before, so uh, many uh, Western composer um, expired by the by Gamelan. Of course, a very famous one. Uh, Claude Debussy, of course, uh, and um, is a French composer. And uh, now that I'm talking about that, uh, back to American composer like Lou Ellison, even he built his own gamelan, a uh, very famous, one of very famous gamelan is, is called C. Betty, now at uh, Hartford uh, University in Boston, uh, gamelan C. Betty. Made, uh, I think made of uh, aluminum, something, something like that. Of course, John Cade, um, minimalist composer, like uh, Steve Wright, um, very famous uh, com composition called 18 Magician. Uh, so, and also Gamelan uh, being used for many different uh, soundtrack movie like, of course, you see uh, uh, Baraka, of course, um, and uh, Satan Jawa, this is a new movie. So um, pop culture like Star Trek uh, also have a gamelan track on, on that is used again at Waya. Mario Brother of, of video. Um, and uh, many more. Uh, so I want to, you know, show you a, a Michael Tenser's uh, composition now. So that's uh, called Bukata. Bukata is the name of the composition. So fusion of a gamelan and Western, uh, Western instruments. Uh, this right here. Hadirin persembahan mereka berikutnya mengambil tema bu. Thank you. 
Wonderful composition. Um, so that is what play in the Isi Den Pasar, or open state. Um, so that uh, around 2016. And of course, uh, so many more uh, American composer, uh, their homage to uh, Gamala music. Because I mentioned uh, Colin Mickey. As well as Lou Harrison, uh, Bella Bartok, uh, Terry Boley, Benjamin Britton, um, Philip Glass, Steve Wright, because uh, even Zagiran, uh, you know, as well as the you know many many more like Bill Alvis. Uh, the Indonesian composer like fusion between uh, gamelan and Western music, Pak Winda, Pak Swecha, uh, Pak Lasmawan. Um, I, I, I do wanted to also share my, the last uh, music video I have. I, can, I collaborate with uh, Judith Hill. Uh, the name of the music video is uh, Queen of the Hill using gamelan and punk music music. Uh, let, let's, let's hear that. Um, Judith Hill. Let me see. This is uh, I directed by um, Levi Levi Chang uh, was uh, we uh, we shoot it uh, at uh, Lou Harrison House and uh, uh, just what trees up there. So this is Queen of the Hill using Gamelan. Hi, I'm Stacey Abrams, <laughs> and I urgently need 557 more Democrats in.
Okay. <laughs> That's what uh, my collaboration with uh, you did you did here. Uh, Grammy winning singers. Um, so that uh, she she singing especially punk punk uh, style of music. So um, we recorded and also in her house and also in uh, Lynn Harrison's house. And, um, okay, so Rebecca, uh, you you and me stop here. I, it, are are you finished, Pat? Uh, one more, one more, one more video. I want to. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Then then we we done. Yeah. So um. Uh, that, that is the the collaboration. Um, I did with uh, Judith Hill, and also um, I had a collaboration collaboration with Rhapsody and Tab. Uh, very well known um, uh, 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 tap the tap uh, company here in LA, Rhapsody and Tap. Uh, the choreographer, uh, her name is uh, Linda Sodenile, and uh, I composed a forty-minute song. Uh, become four-part. Four uh, dance choreography they call Nusantara so the gamelan and tap tap so I, I wanted to share with you um, my video again here let's see then is the last last one uh, this is a bit tricky uh, I hope you're able to do it uh, hope uh, Uh, let's see. Please welcome Rhapsody in Taps. Together and began working on this piece. And uh, the oak mat is a vintage mat that was actually uh, designed after a mat that Frances Neely, a wonderful Los Angeles tap dancer, loaned me for a period of time. And so she's still with me. Joy Newman is here. And Paul and Arlene Kennedy. I'm not sure where. There they are. Denise and. We got to get you back up here, Arthur. <laughs> we'll let him rest tonight, though. And, and uh, this is our, our dance in four sections called Nusantara, which means bridge between islands.
right? Um, <laughs> um, that's it. Um, uh, the last thing I wanted to present it to you is my collaboration with uh, Rhapsody in Tap. It's, um, also, I do a duet. Uh, I dance uh, with, with uh, the choreographer, uh, Linda. We call Dwe Rupa, Dwe Rupa. Dwe is mean two, Rupa is two pieces. Uh, so um, uh, that, that's, uh, and uh, about 40 minute piece, but uh, we, we cut it short now. <laughs> so, um, okay, Rebecca, so um, uh, we, we probably run out of time. So uh, let, let uh, bring it back to you. And uh, if anybody have a question, maybe. Thank you so much, Pat Wenton, for sharing. I loved all of your examples of the, the uh, well, tap you. dancing was really incredible. Um, and thank you so much to everyone for coming and for coming every week, many of you to the Bali's Living Arts series. Um, it's been so lovely having everyone. And I'm also really honored to have um, Buririn here and uh, also Burina and a, a contingent from the Kajeri. Really wonderful to have you tonight. Um, and before we open it up for questions, I know it is getting a little bit late. We are scheduled to close at 8.15. So I would like to let everyone know that it's okay if you need to go, um, but uh, we will be continuing for questions. Um, and I'm really, really happy that you came out and I will miss you so much over the next uh, months, but, um, and so will we all at Sukarjaya. Um, I'm, uh, everyone who is here tonight will receive a follow-up email tomorrow and you'll have an opportunity to give feedback and to sign up for the mailing list. Um, and we will, we do hope to have more events like this in the future. Um, and it will be really wonderful to have all of you there. So um, thanks again for coming and I uh, hope to see you again another time. And um, for those of you who would like to stay longer and, and chat, uh, we'll be going until 8.30. Um, so, and I, I would also like to, to let everyone know that um, if, you, if you are someone who feels like you often um, uh, take up space and, and speak often um, to step back and to step forward if you're someone who is quiet um, to give space uh, and give yourself space so um, we can hear from all voices and have a great discussion. So um, if you have a question, please use the raise hand feature uh, at the bottom of your screen in the participants menu, you will click there. And um, then in the bottom, it will say raise hand and you can use that. <clears throat> and I had a question from, um, from, Lee Putu in Colorado. Om Swastiastu Pak Wenten, apa kabar? Baik saja, Om Swastiastu. <laughs> Tangan nggak bisa hang out sama Bapak sama Ibu. <laughs> I know, so uh, difficult time now, but uh, soon we over, right? Hope, hopefully. That's right. <laughs> Hopefully. So I have a, just a very brief question and it, it yeah. might elicit a very long answer, hopefully. <laughs> um, but you're obviously, thank you for your presentation and thank you for being a role model for people in the United States and for the Gamelan community globally. Um, you've obviously been a strong force in uh, spreading the arts, Indonesian arts, and also sort of American arts 
to Indonesia as well, right? Um, so you've seen a lot of changes in since you've come to the U United States, not so long ago, right? <laughs> You're still um, so my question is, what what do you envision for the future of Gamelan, specifically in the United States? Do you have any vision of where we could take it or what you would like to see out of the community? Well, <laughs> wonderful question. I hope I'll be able to uh, answer this. Um, <clears throat> yes, um, so my, my vision, you know, I never imagined uh, I'll, be, I'll be here almost uh, half of my, my life now, almost 45 years, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, the beginning, I, I don't believe it, uh, gamelan will be spread out in, in America, the beginning, uh, because I'm in a very narrow-minded, I just be here at Callard for the first time. And here we just uh, play gamelan with uh, 18 uh, people from all, many different states. And um, I'm, I'm really surprised. Uh, some of them from Chicago, from New York, from Michigan, uh, Wisconsin, many different places come together. Uh, that is uh, surprised me. I thought this, oh, I come to Calade, I invited for summer workshop with uh, Dr. Brown, Robert Brown. And uh, they, they, you know, go, how, how, so many people from many different places. I thought it's only people from Valencia. <laughs> so, and, uh, I mean, from LA area. But in that time, I thought I, oh, then uh, the good future for Gamblan here. Um, I, I hope I'll be able to stay longer. <laughs> so then, uh, uh, after eight weeks, they sent me home to, to, ba to Bali. And those 20 people, uh, 20 musicians, as you know, Jody Diamond, uh, Philip Jamposki, <laughs> all those people still involved with Gamelan. Now we took him to Bali, to Indonesia, uh, stay there for another two months. Uh, to uh, play gamelan in Ubud uh, and uh, and also in Jogja and so forth. So um, then I get more and more excited. Oh wow, this is the gamelan going to be a bigger and bigger scene in America. So we can then uh, they they went back to U US USA and uh, I, I then I said goodbye. Um, hopefully I'll see you soon. Then a month or two months after that, uh, they, they called me, could you come back? And um, uh, so I uh, continued the, the gamelan in, uh, at Cal Art, especially our, our Center for Music. They, they opened this. Uh, uh, then um, I, I told them, oh, Bob, if, uh, if I come back to US, uh, do you think you'll I'll be able to not only just play gamelan, also to study Western music, <laughs> study composition, uh, being a student there. So, oh, easy, um, I, I can arrange that, uh, hopefully, but you have to take little tests. Okay, little tests, not, not big big tests, but small tests. <laughs> so uh, take a test at Callard and so we, we get in. Uh, study at Calad and also then go to UCLA. So then there was there was Center for World Music then. So um, I was invited to to teach there among maybe twelve different uh, artists from Bali uh, uh, in Jogja or oh, in Jawa. So for Pak Cindy, you know Pak Rembang, uh, Pak Maridi from Jogja. Bubei Madusari, 
uh, the the best langan langan uh, Andrian from Mangkunegaran, uh, Pak uh, Mar, uh, Bu Martati, Pak Cokro, <laughs> Pak Kanto, so many famous musician, oh, so much to learn. Uh, I'm so glad. And also Steve Reich came, uh, study Gamelan, and uh, Lou Harrison was there. Uh, oh, this Gamelan scene going to be bigger and bigger. So this this uh, uh, American composer very interested in studying Gamelan. Of course, as Karjaya, then after that, uh, 1979, um, some of the group of the, maybe as I see what Michael Tensor's hanging around in Berkeley um, many times to come to our concert then, and uh, Rachel Cooper and so forth. So um, the scene grow. So that, this is the, uh, for the future, I believe so many, we planted, we planted the seed, everybody, uh, you know, either American musician, Gamelan musician, or Indonesian, Balinese, Japanese musician, including your dad, Palas uh, Mawan, everybody planting the seed here and get to grow bigger and bigger. And we watering the seed and become a, a trees and a trees bloom, blooming as flowers and, and so forth. So this in the future. So we we uh, kick, kick take care of this. Uh, all the all the, the, the musician study gamelan now is not only us from Indonesia, but all of you uh, will be uh, keep guarding this gamelan for the futures. So uh, I believe uh, even more bigger in the futures gamelans uh, seen in the, in the U.S. So uh, in, including, of course, Europe, J J Japan, other part of uh, the world, like uh, Mexico, I brought a gamelan there, Mexico, um, also Brazil, there's a, a gamelan, gamelan there. Uh, many different places except maybe of four different states we don't have a gamelan yet here in U.S. So uh, this is your duty uh, uh, to persuade them to have a gamelan in Oklahoma. They don't have a gamelan yet. Uh, South Carolina, uh, South Dakota, Tennessee. Please, everyone, do something. We have a. We we have to have a gamelan in that that different state. I mean, Where's the president? Actually, there is there there is, and my dad can attest to this, or he can talk about it more. But there is now a gamelan in South Dakota, so oh, we got that. Oh, <laughs> all right. Um, where's the President Clinton come from? Uh, Which one? Arkansas, Arkansas. Uh, president Clinton. So they they don't have a gamelan there, also. But uh, we have to bring the gamelan there, and. As, so um, I'm I'm really have positive thought about the gamelan gamelan phenomenon, and uh, America will be keep keep going growing. Uh, but you will have to really diligent to to uh, pour water, watering the plant. Uh, so then then uh, the gamelan will grow up. So uh, like. Um, in LA now, my former student have uh, their own group, uh, Murdu Kamala, uh, uh, Hiro Inusuka, uh, also uh, uh, Tyler Yamin. So they have a new group also, but of course now, because he's so busy, uh, they call Pandan Arum, uh, especially uh, their group playing uh, Kamasan style, smart and so beautiful gamelan. So um, what do you think? <laughs> I think it's a beautiful answer. Suksma banget, Pak. Suksma.
Well, I have to keep keep uh, keep working hard, so we be able to to uh, bringing the gamelan more and more to uh, countries, USA. Um, it's Sukarvias here, my old friends. Thank you for being here uh, from UCLA. So then. Uh, so uh, we have two more questions, one yeah. from uh, at David Harnish and then one from Patsumar Sam. So oh, um, okay. David Harnish. Yes, uh, Baba. Hello. Yes, yes, too. Um, uh, thank you. Uh, actually, that answer was so great. Um, it kind of brought together everything that I was going to ask you to some extent. Uh, I did want to ask about some of your other collaborations because you've been here so long. Uh, I don't know, between you and Pak Marsam, uh, one of you is Tertua, I think. And I don't know which one it is, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway, kind of phenomenal. You have so many stories. Um, so my first question was going to be about collaborations because you've done so many. You've played with so many groups. You've helped found so many groups. So maybe we shouldn't ask that question because you would be talking all night. But uh, instead, I think I want to ask you maybe someday uh, if you would, because you wrote your thesis on Pak Chokro. Yes. Maybe you could write about yourself. Maybe you could write something about the development of Gamelan in the United States from your perspective. You were really what you have seen because very few of us here have seen what you have seen or gone through what you've gone through, met the, all the different people that you've met. And uh, maybe I would volunteer uh, Ibu Jodi to help. Yeah. Um, or someone like that, I, I would be happy to help too, because it would be good to get your story out there so that people know all the things that we've, many of us have forgotten over the years, the development of so many programs around the country, of so many dances that, that may be part of the canon now, how they came to be, how they were arranged, how they were, you know, became different. So anyway, I'll just leave it at that. I hope I can interest you in that project, Baba. Oh. Thank you, Father David. Um, I appreciate it. Um, think about it. Um, I will. I will do the best I can before I retired. <laughs> Maybe a couple more years. Then, yeah. So um, uh, I'm appreciated you being here, and uh, we we've been playing together for so so many years. Since you you are in Sacramento, Bowling Green. Uh, now in San Diego, we, we me a part of you, you you part of me. So thank you so much. Yeah, terima kasih banyak pak. Terima kasih. Saya bisa masuk. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm so very happy to see you. Oh, you too. So. You too. How many years we haven't seen each other? Oh. Uh, East Coast and West Coast are far away. <laughs> and yeah. when I visited Solo, you visited Jogja, we haven't have a time to to yes. be even there. Which I remember I performed in Kelart in 1980s. Uh, yes, uh, 1992. 92. Uh, for um, uh, what you call uh, Pak Chokro composition, uh, Jaya Mangala Gita. Right, right. So um, I'm yeah. also very happy that you are interested in the history of Gamlan and Japanese Gamlan, and you mentioned about uh, Buddhist era of Borobudur, and you're right to say that it's a uh, it's we don't know what kind of gamelan they have at that time. Of course, we know a little bit about a 14th century uh, Chandi Penataran that has a uh, rayong and gambang and uh, pictures there, and that rayong and gambang still exist now in yes. Bali. So they must have been a, a kind of a 
very good relationship between Java and Bali and the time either before the Java is being Islamized or after Java is being Islamized. Now, so that that's a, a lot of things to, to think about and to do a research on. And I did yes. actually when, uh, a piece, an essay on the possibility of the trans, transmission of Bali Kanjur to uh, becoming Soro Bali in uh, Solo and Jogja maybe go through Banyuwangi or maybe from Banyuwangi go straight to Mataram or Surabaya. Yeah. Uh, so that thing, but Skati is very interesting. Of course, we don't know exactly the when this uh, Javanese Gamelan Skaten in Jogja and Solo was uh, uh, created. Uh, of course, people always exist as 16th century and yeah. things like that. Right, but right. And then you have a uh, uh, a case of Sirapon, which also yeah. has a Gamelan Skati, is not as uh, grandiose as in Solo. But what is interesting to me, of course, is uh, this uh, sort of my, I have, uh, I'm doing a little bit more research or more on the connection between Bali and Java. And there is actually also Gamelan Skati in uh, uh, the village of Tamaka in Bali which is more, at, at least the sound is more like the gamelan in Sekati in Cirebon rather than the gamelan in Sekati in Jogja and Solo. Uh, but we, I, I don't have any way to see the picture of gamelan Sekati in Temaga because I don't think people are still afraid to uh, make that gamelan Sekati uh, to be seen. Uh, so. I would like very much to communicate with you more oh. about this uh, the history, and I'm yeah. sure you have a lot of uh, material from, from Yang Tur Hormat Almarhum Bapak Cokro, and so uh, we'll somehow need to uh, get a yeah. chance to communicate. Right. Thank you. Thank you for my Sam, and uh, so good to see you. And uh, the last time we we seen each other as uh, in the Smithsonian Festival of Indonesia. That's right. That's right. Yes, uh, you are um, the key key speaker, keynote speaker. I'm so glad um, uh, you know I was there, and um, and thank you for everything you've done for Gamelan here in America as well. So uh, we all. Uh, older generation, younger generation like Putu, um, everybody need to uh, Rajin, very region to, to plant a seed here. Uh, as well as uh, American counterpart like David, uh, Philip Jamposki, Michael Dancer, everybody uh, shared uh, the idea about bringing more, more gamelan to the country here. Yes, thank you, and I appreciate you being here. And uh, say hello to your family, be safe, be healthy. Let's talk to you soon. Okay, thank you. Terima kasih, Pak Tamarsam. We have uh, two more questions, and then I think we'll call it a night. Um, first, we have a question from Meredith Holmgren, and then we have a question from Bujodi Diamond. Um, from Meredith Holmgren, who's a former student of yours, Pat went then, class of oh, yes, 2005. Um, yes. and her, she's very sorry, but her microphone is broken, and she sent me this message in the chat, and I almost missed it. Um, but her question was, um, Sorry, looking through my chat right now. Um, she wants to ask about the growth of women players and composers in Bali, as well as the US. Um, and can you talk a little bit about this history and, um, and where you see it going in the future? And also, do women players influence each other across cultures? Yes. <clears throat> well, beautiful um, question. What I experienced in, in Bali, um, the, <clears throat> the result about the woman club gamelan, uh, called gamelan wanita, 
uh, the beginning is uh, when the government take, take in charge of uh, opening a, a new school. Uh, first, and, and uh, of course in Solo, Padmasam knows uh, conservatory Karawitan in Solo, uh, maybe the 50s. And then to Jogja, Konri, Conservatory Tari, and uh, to Bali in 1960s, Kokar, Conservatory Karawitan. So I was uh, the second generation of uh, that school. And my uh, classmate, uh, male and female, uh, of course, they, we have a gamelan class. So um, like Buarini, for example, the beginning, see uh, one of the first gamelan player who played drum, Buarini, Buarini Alit. Yeah, the famous Legong teachers uh, been with Karjaya for many time. Uh, so that is the beginning in 1960 in Bali. Uh, then it very slowly process, not not so quick, because most the uh, the the girls or the women don't want to play gamelan. Uh, even they they wanted to, but uh, the teacher said, "You you dance, don't don't play. You 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 have to study dance." But of course, we we have a class, a gamelan class. Pak Brata, teach us, Pak Remang, Pak Putugriya, and all this include the, uh, the ladies, the women play gamelan. All my classmates uh, play gamelan. Then, then uh, start uh, Asti, Academy Sinitari. Uh, more and more, uh, you know, Juanita or, or girls or women play gamelan. So um, then, of course, uh, in uh, Solo, they call Aski, in Jogja, Asti, in uh, Bandung, you call Asti uh, Academy Sinitari in Jogja, Academy Stikrawitan in Solo, uh, in Bali is Academy Sinitari. So um, when I graduated from Kokar, I I wanted to open my mind a little bit. Um, also, because I was part of the President Mission Culture during Sukarno era. So I seen uh, not only Balinese uh, music and dance in my team, about 80 people travel around the world. So I seen uh, Pak Maridi dance Javanese and Pak Marto Pangarawit, part of the, the, uh, the group from Solo, um, was so beautiful Javanese music and, and dance. So I wanted to pursue my, my field, go to Jogja to study uh, dance. Of course, uh, every three months I go back because my exam is uh, both Bali and, and Java at that time. So um, I have to study Balinese dance, Balinese music, as well as uh, uh, study in Jogja, study gamelan, Japanese gamelan. So um, uh, that is grow. Now uh, they have a Kabyar competition. Uh, 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 there's a, the, the art center, uh, Taman Budaya open around uh, toward, toward the end of 60s, uh, then get bigger and bigger. And now uh, the, the woman club gamelan merged in, in Pliatan first, Pliatan. And then Denpasar, uh, then Badung Kuta, uh, Kuta, uh, city of Kuta, then uh, South Bali. So um, uh, now it's not uh, so difficult to find a good gamelan or woman gamelan player. They play incredible fast, 
um, and uh, precise Scott Deccan, um, play wonderful drum, drum, and a good gaya, good action, <laughs> action. Oh, as well as, of course, America, no dif different between men and women play gamelan. Every class, sometimes more women play gamelan. So uh, this is, uh, culture is a little different. In Bali, the woman more to learn to dance at the beginning. Uh, but here uh, in, in the US, woman and, uh, and the man equal opportunity. Uh, you study drumming, drumming set, woman can do the jazz drummers do um, uh, play saxophone. Uh, all this, my imagine only man playing saxophone, but woman <laughs> play saxophone. So uh, that is uh, incredible. In America, I don't know, uh, easy to find a, maybe every form of woman club gamelan, easy to find a players here. Uh, now, equal in uh, Indonesia, uh, in, in Java also, women club gamelans. When I was in Georgia 1965, already have a, a gamelan uh, uh, Juanita in, uh, in, uh, in Georgia. Uh, Pat Joko was one of the teachers. Pat Joko, my colleague here, and teach at Kellard. So, um, I play the bob, like uh, one of the teachers um, who taught gamelan at Wesleyan, also um, play the bob. Uh, I just blank my, my my mind now. Uh, I forget the name. Of, she's uh, from from Georgia. She she taught gamelan in Wesleyan beginning. I think with Masita. Masita, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she uh, so. Uh, Java, the beginning become a remote model. So then you go to Bali. So um, so now everybody playing equally. So now, uh, the last time I was in Bali last year, I saw incredible uh, player from South Kuta. Uh, so represent the Badung region, number one in Bali. So then uh, Badung region, also Gyanyar, they have a Ponabuh uh, Wanita, also Buleleng, of course, Singaraja, all different land region of, uh, of uh, different region in Bali, they have, they have two or three different good, good uh, Ponabuh Wanita, yeah, uh, woman gamelan club. Yes, so um, I think my answer is uh, the women club gamelan grow and faster than I can imagine. Yeah, I, Pak Marsam can tell us more about the uh, Japanese scene, uh, about the uh, gamelan penabuh wanita in uh, Solo in Jogja. Um, other places in Java, yeah. Any any other question? There was one more question, and then I think yeah. we'll call it an evening. And that was yes. from Boo Jody Diamond. Yes, please. Welcome. Yes. Well. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, Since I was seventeen years old. Oh, I was the Judy, Judy, how are you? Um, well, I, I actually, um, I just wanted to thank Rebecca and Sekhar Jaya and the staff, the magic staff and Emiko. This has just been a fantastic series, a wonderful way to be together. And uh, Wenton, thank you for the historical journey. That was, that was much more deeper than I expected. I appreciate it. Thank you. You part. You part of the history. 
to be part of the history. I, um, I, I posted a thing. We're, we're compiling um, the next issue of Belongan covering Gamelan and COVID and what's happening in our lives now. And we just love, um, we have a lot of material. We'd love a contribution, even really short, just from as many people as possible. It's kind of like a manifestation of our community. And, um, and I think, I'd, you know, in addition to a gamelan in every state, I think we need one in every country. So we should start working on that. <laughs> Get a gamelan spy at the United Nations. But um, so I, I guess I would ask you a question, Wenton, is yes. what do you see, what's been the most successful uh, interaction or interface? You know, when you work with people for the first time, and you're trying to open the door to Gamelan and Indonesia. What do you think has been the most successful way of bringing people in or making a connection? What, what have you felt has really worked? Yes. Um, yeah, a very fantastic question. Um, I think um, the first thing is uh, to acknowledge each other. Um, we always, um, you know, respect uh, the ability of uh, uh, each other. When we start doing a collaboration, uh, so we always wanna think about, oh, I'm gaining something from, from that person. Um, no matter what, you always, you always learn something new. Uh, so um, folks, just to give you a give example, you, you see the video I, I did uh, the beginning is uh, for me is impossible if you you know tap tap in gamelan or, or, or pang in gamelan music. So um, if you doubt this res, they call, uh, re, re, relationship between two two collaborator or more, then you, you cannot uh, do this. Uh, you have to share this knowledge wherever you can. And you, you've been doing that so many years for Judy. Uh, but so uh, of course, uh, I play a couple of uh, Lu, Pak Lu, uh, Harrison music, Main Bersama, uh, other, other uh, composition, Pak Chokro, Gamelan, uh, Kelancaran, Robert Brown, L. So many good music to, so you have to to trust you uh, you person you are doing a collaboration with. Uh, that's like like um, uh, Bali Beat of Paradise. You you are common. Uh, you are the beginning of the the scene there. So um, so if I don't trust uh, Livy, uh, what they they're doing, uh, I can we we. We not finished that uh, uh, movie, but we trust her. She she has a good attention to uh, to promote gam gamelan beyond us. So uh, through the movie, because uh, I think it's a good thing, and you 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 part of that. So I um, appreciate it. As a yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's like a, it's a great life philosophy, right? Trust each other. Trust let's, each other. Let's yeah. start there. That, that's a wonderful place to start. Yes. <laughs> thank you. So I wanted to say thank you. I was your student in 1973 uh, in Berkeley at the oh. Center for World Music, Annie Hallett. And uh, I studied uh, eight hours a day with you and Nanique. <laughs> and I remember you. Yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I am a professional mask maker. Yes. I worked uh, in Sausalito with a bread and puppet theater. Yes. Um, and uh, I've been to your it. I've been to your uh, house uh, in the. Uh, uh, what do you call boat house? But, oh, the houseboat, yes. Houseboat, yes. yes. So we just did a big performance on su on Sunday. We had a, a beautiful heart made by an airplane. 
Oh. It, it's, it was called, uh, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. You can go to Antenna Theater and pull up images of it. But um, I just wanna thank you for changing my life. It was just one of those magic oh. occasions. And my contact with you was Martin Bartlett, who was a dear friend and I taught with him yes. before I um, met you and studied with the Center for yeah. World Music. So yeah, dear deep friends, gratitude. Uh, Martin Bartlett, uh, He's uh, looking down to us now. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he is. Looking down to us. Uh, so he brought a uh, lot of uh, musicians, yes. uh, including me, to uh, yes. Vancouver. Vancouver, and, uh, yes. We yes. did perform up there. Yes, and, um, and uh, so incredible place to... It's a small world. Small world, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Winton. Thanks. These are such wonderful little comments and, and questions. Um, I had a question from Richard Wallace. Oh, man. Oh, by Richard. <laughs> you... I, remem I remember when you were Moss Winton. <laughs> Very young. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Moss. I have, a, I have a question. Yes. I have a question for you. At at Cal Arts and um, and in Indonesia, you have pretty much equal experience with both Javanese gamelan and dance and Balinese gamelan and dance. At Cal Arts, how do you interest more people in playing and studying Javanese gamelan and dance rather than going directly to Balinese, which is so much more engaging to beginners? Oh. Uh, that is just need to, uh, I, uh, I spoke to Pat Joko. We need to um, be, uh, be so off. Uh, maybe every twice, twice, uh, uh, first semester we have to perform the main gallery. Uh, either we have audience or not, we just keep doing it. Uh, we, we did actually. Um, and uh, during Pat Chokros uh, here, you came and play Jaya Mangala Gita, you played in there, Richard. That's right, yes. And um, I was, uh, uh, Bobby Booth, Jody also here. And I uh, trusted to play uh, drum <laughs> that time. Uh, Pat Chokros said, you play drum. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so about uh, at least a 45 minute piece. And I uh, was, uh, I have a video for that. And, and Nanik and Thomas Tamayo was the narration of. Uh, uh, yes. Pa Arjito came, uh, many uh, former students of Pat Chokro came. Uh, for retirement retirement party of Chokro, 1992. So he. I think you were you were as nervous as I was. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and uh, of course, um, always every time I come home, they always ask me, "How's uh, 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 Jody doing? How's uh, Mas Richard doing?" You always ask me uh, because you remember. Uh, you always being with him, even in Cal Art also in Berkeley, right? I was able to see him maybe six months before he passed away in 2007 when I went to his house for a Klenengan and I got to speak with him for a long time then. That was, uh, that was so gratifying, yes. Yes. Yeah. One last question for you. Are you still dancing Hanuman? Yes, I dancing is. You miss my my performance at UC Berkeley last time. Yes, you must be the world's oldest Hanuman. No, no, it's not Hanuman. Um, I, I danced duet with Nanik. And oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, Bambang and Chakil. I still can jump. Really, that's great. <laughs> and <laughs> and a lot of old friend came, like. Uh, uh, but all gray hair, um, yeah. uh, is, who studies Sunanese music, uh, mass making, 
let's see. I'll just blank my my mind here. I forget. Kathy Foley. Kathy Foley. And uh, no, uh, uh, place not his music. The man's and uh, in Berkeley. Henry, Henry Henry Spiller. No, no, older, older. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't know. But anyway, thank you very much, oh, Mas yes. Winton, for this uh, for this great evening. Thank you so much, uh, well, Richard. Uh, we'll we'll talk to you soon. Okay. Yes, sir. Be safe. Be healthy. You too. Looking forward to to see you after after this uh, finish uh, the the difficult time. Uh, we will see each other. Uh, I know. Yes. I know. We will. Okay. Thank you. Good thank night. Thank you so much. Night. Terima kasih semuanya. Uh, I think it's time to call it a night. Um, and yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, and hopefully we'll all see each other in real life again sometime soon. Yes. Even those of us who are all the way across the world, it will happen. That's right. And uh, thank you, um, Robika, for hosting this. And of course, thank you for Skarjaya, please. Hello, my love to everybody in Skarjaya. Um, I'm, I'm part of the Skarjaya when beginning, uh, you know, as I mentioned to you, first dancers, dance with Skarjaya in 1979 is me, and um, uh, it's uh, very close to uh, Golden Bridge, Golden Gate Bridge, I forget the name of the place. Anyway, <laughs> so um, take care, everyone. Um, so, um, so great to see old faces, uh, old friend, old extended family. For me, is the Gamelan family is uh, one of the best ever happened to me. So uh, everywhere I go, I I be able to travel. One time I cross America, I go many different city. Everywhere I go, there's a gamelan player there. Even to Minnesota, <laughs> <laughs> Twin City, uh, Wisconsin. I I drove with Pat Chokro, my father-in-law, Nanik, across <laughs> or probably with Jody uh, member when we, we have a summer school in in uh, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I stopped in Colorado, Denver. Uh, just a gamelan player there. So um, everywhere. Thank you all. Um, be safe, be healthy. Thank Talk you. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how are you? Uh, we 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 see each other again, okay? Soon, okay? Soon, yeah, but yeah, okay. Say uh, hello to your mom, your 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 oma, oma also, okay? All right, your dad also, please. Oh yeah, coming soon. <laughs> but yeah, I will send him yourself. All right. Take care. I hope you're. <laughs> Good job, Liman. <laughs> hey, <laughs> uh, wonderful um, day. Um, we we have to get together soon. We plan to have a uh, uh, with the consulate here. I spoke to uh, so if we can do a like a festival of gamelan here in LA. Maybe uh, who knows next year? Maybe hopefully. So uh, I spoke to Bupopi yesterday, and we Good. miss we miss okay. all, all of you. Good and idea. Probably, but now we uh, stop to play gamelan and Paman ready for play tennis and play golf tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you for teach me golf. <laughs> uh, so so wonderful, and um, thank so. You you you've been playing uh, uh, distancing uh, 